So the anime is set in the world of gods, where the goddess named Restarty was chosen for a S rank job, but she only summoned five heroes, which was significantly less than average. And this time she has a S rank mission on her hands, which means she must summon a hero to save the human world from the demon lord. So far, every level 1 guy had been nothing special until she learned about Seiya. She wasted no time in summoning him because his status and abilities were far above average. But the problem was that the guy was extremely cautious with his life and even doubted whether or not Restarty was a goddess. She was being patient with him because he had just been summoned and wanted to rush into the world named Gaia Brand. But he needed something in return, and Restarty misunderstood that Seiya might ask something like that. But Seiya will not do it unless he is certain he is up to the task, so he began exercising to strengthen his level. So she gets some motivation from her goddess friend Ariadoa, who tells her to be honest with him while also being friendly and gentle. And she did exactly what she said, she brought some food and even gave him three days to finish the training, but it took him about a week to get ready, in this week Seiya leapt his level from 1 to 15 in just a week truly surprising. So, when they arrived in the world of Gaia Brand Seiya and Restarty, they came across a very cute girl. Nina directed them to the blacksmith because they wanted to go shopping for equipment. In addition, she gave him a good luck charm to help him fight monsters. And after they finished their little shopping, a major headache appeared, her name is Chaos. Seiya made the decision to run despite the fact that she was a general in the Demon Lord's army and her level was actually twice that of his. Fortunately, they were able to flee, and on the other hand, Seiya once again locked himself up in the house to train. But things were getting out of hand in the town where they left, because Chaos had issued a direct warning that every 10 minutes, someone would die, and Nina's father was next in line. So Resta wanted to save them as soon as possible, but time in the celestial world moves faster, like 10 minutes there equals 16 hours. But Seiya decided to hold off for that long. But how coldly he brushed it off Restarty began to feel regretful to summon him. But, from his point of view, if he dies, the entire world dies, so unable to hold out, his level jumped once more. And with stats, he returns to Gaia Brand to fight Chaos, as Seiya has a good reflex to avoid many of her attacks. So Chaos succumbed to a curse in order to reveal her true form, and her level was now 10 times that of Seiya. Even so, she was unable to land a hit on him, which surprised her, so she peeked into his stats again, this time more carefully, and discovered that Seiya was displaying a fake level using a skill called Fake Show. She tries to look into it, but Seiya has encrypted many layers, so she may not find out, but she manages to get through in the end, and saw that Seiya's level is much higher than Chaos's, and how Chaos died at Seiya's hands. But, in order to ensure that she does not regenerate, Seiya practically destroyed that enters town with his fire spell. So the people of the town begged them to leave. And basically, his overprotectiveness was getting Rista's nerve, and while she was with Arya again, Seiya barged in with a problem with his level. He encountered a bottleneck and was unable to level up, so Arya advised him to train with a god, as it would be a real combat experience as well as the safest way to level up. Then, for this job, Arya introduced Seiya to his instructor, the god of Blade. Circes was a little rude, but Seiya was even ruder, so Circus planned to get rough on him. So he was a little under the weather the first day, but Rista didn't know. On the second day, it grew, and on the third day, it became clear as a day, and on the fourth day, the god of blades simply developed a fear of blades. Because Seiya was a true masterpiece, and despite the fact that he had nothing to teach him, he was forcing him to go through even more. So when Rita saw them on their training, she understood why Circeus has a phobia and does not want to think about fighting. So, when they returned to Gaia Brand, the demon lords had sent an army of zombies, and the holy water they bought from the shop was the perfect kryptonite for them. Before returning to Gaia Brand, the goddess Ishtar told Rista that she would find allies in the church. So she went there with Seiya to meet them, but Seiya's cautious habit caused him to use his holy water on father, and it turns out his habit can be useful sometimes, then the degenerate father warned them that an army of 10,000 zombies is near. And Seiya was getting tired of it, so he used his fire spell yet again to kill that zombie, resulting in the church's destruction. Hearing that sound, the knight arrived and suspected them of thievery. But the sister was gracious and informed them. It was that zombie disguised as a father who did it, as well as about the army. So the other two dragon kin who wanted to join the party were Mash and Alulu. But Seiya rejected them because they were too weak, and they went their separate ways. As a result, Seiya and Rista made their way to the path from which the zombie army was approaching, and he literally used a metro twice to wipe out the entire army. Then, after two days, Mash was missing, and Alulu was worried sick. Then, at the receptionist brought a strange mirror that was labeled for the hero Seiya. 
and it turned out to be a screen displaying the fact that the second general of the Demon Lord's army had kidnapped Mash. Just to get Seiya because he wreaked havoc on chaos on his own. So, just as he was about to injure him, Seiya used a new platinum blade made from combining wrist to hair to cut through space, preventing him from injuring Mash, and rushed back to the celestial world to ask the head of the gods, Isser, for assistance in locating Mash. With that, they went to the dungeon where he was imprisoned, and while Seiya was taking him on death Magla unleashed a powerful lab-grown fire monster. And, on the contrary, told him that his only weakness is that he requires ice element to counterattack him because no blade is effective against him. But Seiya had a plan as well. He gathered even more Rista's hair to make element bangles for these types of situations, and by combining their power with the sword death Magla was also defeated. And after seeing how powerful Seiya Mash wanted to his pupil and received a flat rejection, Seiya took them to the celestial world to assist them in finding a teacher, and the one who fit the bill is Circeus, who left the violence because of Seiya but still suffered from phobia but his tune changed when he heard the student this time is Mash rather than him, and for Ilulu they arrived at the goddess Hestika. So the last one standing was Seiya, who met a bully goddess Valkyrie, the goddess of death, on the way and wanted to train with her. She became enraged and wanted to beat the crap out of him, but she was let off the hook due to Arya. So, because he was desperate to train, she enlisted the help of the goddess of war, Adonella, and a total freak. It had nothing to do with Seiya, he simply desired a good teacher. But her case is different because every day she improves her appearance for some reason she has never done before in her life. And when the training period was over, she came to say goodbye with a cake, but Seiya despises cakes and cast her feelings aside. Because of this, she becomes insane, and Seiya asks, why should I care? Anyway, the party was on their way to the Dragon Cave because both Mash and Alulu were Dragon Kin and could lead them to the Dragon Kingdom. They arrived because a prophecy stated that the hero would slay the Demon Lord with a great dragon weapon. And was warmly welcomed by the Queen Levi, who granted Mash the ability to transform into a dragon but not to Ilulu. Because she was meant to be a sacrifice, because from her blood and flesh a divine weapon capable of killing the Demon Lord could be forged and Seiya showed them that he couldn't care less because they had already made the preparations the day they arrived and threw a party before the sacrifice. And when the time came for her sacrifice, Mash had a second thought and wanted to stop her, but Levi had already planned this. So Seiya intervened and stopped this boorish nonsense, and Mash and Rista became paralyzed as a result of the food. But Seiya had it all covered because he had never trusted them to begin with. But Levi was nosy about this and even used a curse to kill Alulu for her blood and flesh and she needs to keep Seiya for about 3 minutes for her plan to work. But before that, Seiya had purchased a speed boost seed from the market, which he now consumes. And now, despite having tons of HP, Seiya pushed her around the cliff, and seeing no way out, she gave in and pretend to give up. It turned out to be a trap to give get a chance to fly, but Seiya's previous attack had damaged her wings. So she fell into the pit, and Alulu was saved, and as a result, she herself became a sacrifice, transforming into a divine blade. To assuage the villagers' fears, Seiya told them about the holy blade formed by the Dragon Queen, which could kill the Demon Lord, but Rista knew he was lying just to get Alulu back safe and sound. And now, as they were leaving the Dragon Cave, the knight was waiting for them. So, now that the knight has arrived, what will happen next? Subscribe to the channel to learn more.